everyone welcome back to my channel and happy spring it is with great joy and relief i can now say that yorvik is finally starting to warm up and winter has decided to depart until next year today i am going to be taking you along with me as a lot of things change depending on the season let's get going I like to take my time walking to the barn in the morning. While I love my job so, so much, like anyone, I need time for myself to rejuvenate and stay healthy mentally, and one of the ways I do this is taking time each day to take in the scenery, smell the delicious fresh goods at the cafe, and hear the birds chirping by the water. I'm so grateful each day to live in such a beautiful place. Upon arrival, I make sure to say hi to all of my ponies as well as check in on them to make sure they are all doing well. Before we continue with the day, I thought I would give you all a quick OOTD. I recently got this classic navy polo online off of your Vic Saddlery and I'm obsessed with it. It is so comfortable and very stylish. I got these white show jumping pants quite a while ago at a bigger show facility, but they're pretty worn down now, so I just wear them for casual days at the barn. Now I am in the feed room to prepare breakfast. I am only responsible for taking care of my own horses today. All of my horses get at least some form of grain. I also supplement those that have more physically taxing jobs like Archie, Rio, and Tango just to make sure they are always feeling their best and getting the nutrients they need. While the ponies are eating, I water and refill hay nets for when they come in later as I turn them out after they finish eating. Next, I turned all of my horses out for the day. Milo has unfortunately been dealing with some health issues lately. A little while ago, he showed signs of lameness and swelling after rides, so I quickly got the vet out and he has been diagnosed with some arthritis. It's under much better control now, he's definitely feeling much more like himself, and we've been weaning him off of medication. As of now, we really focus on maintaining a healthy weight, doing long warm-ups and cool-downs and strength exercises. He hasn't been the most motivated to get out on the trails like we usually do, so I've been mostly hand walking him and lunging to decrease stiffness and bond with him more, which is what I decided to do today. After lunging, I turned Milo out to go hang out with his friends. I do have someone mucking out stalls this morning, which is super helpful because I can move right on to working with Roxy. She has been absolutely wonderful, such a great lesson horse for the lower levels, and she continues to impress me in our training every day. We are now up to jumping around 3-3, and today I'll be trying her over some 3-6 fences.
I did a regular warm up today with Roxy. I like to do a lot of transition work to get her listening to me and adjustable, especially on jump days, which right now are only once a week for me because she does plenty of low jump work with students. I like to warm her up with what she's comfortable with, so I started with this little vertical on the quarter line, which she took beautifully. This is about what she does in lessons. I put that warm up jump up, and here I took her over 3 6, and she was spectacular. After doing that outside track, I took her over this solid cross country type jump, which she has done before, so she didn't have a problem with it, and then I took her around to do a little rollback to this outside. I've been working really hard on her trusting me enough to do this water jump, and this was our first day where she didn't refuse it the first time, so I was extremely proud of her. Since she was so wonderful today, I decided to cut my ride short and go out on the trails and take a little swim. She really does love the water, just not the water jump. And then something inside of me said I should try some cross country and I just kind of said a prayer and went for it and she did so good over it and then I thanked her for not killing me. Now, you're probably wondering what I'm doing here. She's being such a good girl on this scary bridge, but this is one of my more relaxed and chill days. I have a few lessons later in the afternoon, but it's around noon now and I'm getting pretty hungry for lunch, so I thought I would take Roxy across the bridge to the cafe where they have horse ties there, so... I'm really excited to see how she does, and I think this is a cool little outing for her not far away from home. It'll test how bomb-proof she really is. Good girl, you're being such a good girl on this bridge. I know it's creaky. Come on. Good. In the 50s movie phrase Good girl, you made it. All right, up this hill. Good, up, there you go. That's going to be it for this little spring vlog. I know it was mostly about Roxy today, but I'm really trying to make her a well-rounded mare, giving her all types of experiences, not just ones in the arena. Thank you for coming along, I really enjoyed taking you all with me. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!